terror at the truck stop. The hooker edition. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. No, but you're, you're a laughing matter. I am a laughing matter. So, I have, this was September 4th. Tribune Media Wire. New York's very own PIX11, so like a news channel. New I don't trucking news. See it very good. Sometimes I like that show up. Missing New York woman held captive in a semi truck for a month before escaping in Iowa. Actually, later it says it was six weeks, not uh, just a month. Six weeks held hostage in a truck. So. Let's see. There's a bunch of regular news article stuff in here. And then she told police James Smith Jr. kidnapped her from a truck stop in Pennsylvania in July. He's the alleged, the alleged. He's the alleged person that kidnapped her. Quote, she had originally met this guy on a dating website, had met up with him for a consensual kind of a visit. Pause. We are not in any way saying that this lady was a hooker but we're alluding to it well she may it may have been like a craigslist meetup or it might have there may have not been any money involved you know who knows right but they were meeting for a consensual type of visit so something consensual was probably going to happen not the kidnapping part no the hanky panky part <laughs> so she had met up with him for a consensual kind of visit. That's where it began. That was approximately six weeks ago, and she's been with him ever since. <coughs> she's, at the time of this, she was in Iowa recovering. She was obviously upset, as would be expected, but I think she's doing well now. Police took Smith into custody on Saturday. He's being held in the Adair County Jail, a long list of charges including first-degree kidnapping and first-degree harassment. Who would have ever thunk it, right? These things never happen. Yes, they do on a regular basis to men and women. What was it that Boy George did in 2009? Boy George! He took a male escort hostage and held him in his basement. Chained him in his basement with a red <laughs> ball in his mouth. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so if it can happen to Boy George, it can happen to well, He was a perpetrator. Yes, he was a perpetrator. If Boy George can do it, that little wimpy guy. <laughs> he may have drugged him first. Is that what you're saying? He slipped him a wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do we laugh at these things? Terror at the truck stop is a real thing. You have a lot of different personalities, every type of personality, every type of mental disorder, every type of situation exists in a truck because there are so many truck drivers. You know, you... you like if you talk about Navy divers or something, there's such a small percentage that they're probably gonna be able to weed that stuff out. But we don't take any tests to say, oh, are you a psychopath? Or a sexual sadist or anything like that. Or a predator of some sort. Everyone has a little bit of predator in them, even if it's a passive aggressive type of predatorism. And it doesn't have to be a sexual predator. It can be of many different natures, correct? Hookers at the truck stop. They're predators. Hookers are predators, too. Mm -hmm. Because a hooker can actually just as easy victimize you boys in your truck. But now, mm -hmm. what we started to, was going to talk about, too. This guy is an old man, and he's been out here for years. Used to. And occasionally in certain places, hookers still come up and knock on your door. A lot of it has went to online, though. Craigslist. And stuff. Craigslist. I don't know where they're all at nowadays. Yeah, who knows? And if you actually watch, a lot of times you can tell because there'll be some girl walking around the truck stop like this. Give us a, give us your and rendition. She'll be going like a chicken looking around. If you're going to your old man's truck, you know what it looks like. Yeah. Right. You know, when I'm going to my truck or you know whatever, I'm not. Where was she from? Says she was taken in Pennsylvania, but she was from New York. There you go. And now she's in Adair County, which is... Iowa. Oh, Des Moines, Iowa is Adair County. So what's the moral of the story? Don't get into strange people's trucks. <laughs> be aware. The, the moral of the story is for the hookers. Be safe out there. 
I don't know. Get a job. I mean, it's a job. I don't know what to tell them. It is a job, but it's a dangerous job. And but it's a dangerous job for truck drivers also because there are there are instances throughout history. Well, like that hooker down in uh, Florida about ten years ago that was killing killing she killed everybody. Yeah, she was killing everybody. She killed everybody and then immaculately immaculately spot cleaned their car. She left like a quarter of a fingerprint in one vehicle yeah, one it, time it was, after she had killed like double digits, eh? Yeah. I mean, she'd kill a lot of people. It was an. A, a, no. It was a, an interesting case. It was one of the first of, of where they found Female women predators that was actually hooking, making money. But if she just didn't like the guy too much, because she re, I reminded her of someone in her past, she twenty to him in the head. Mm -hmm. And then immaculately, she could should have got a job as a cleaner. She should have. That's what she should have done. That was her she forte. She should have took her OCD and went, yeah, well, and got a job as a spot cleaner. I, I, I went over that case quite well. She was a lesbian, actually. Yes. And um, she, uh, they was just using the money, though, to pile up in motels. And when the money ran out, they'd go kill somebody else and pile up and in the motel. And take their money. Yep. Yeah. So predators exist among us. They walk among us. They're not like us, but they are us. They masquerade as us. So stay tuned for more Terror at the Truck Stop. On the next, it's the next terror. On the next edition of Trucker News. <laughs>